This is the first of a series of videos we're going to do that will introduce listeners, watchers to biblical theology and reading the Bible and the different structures and patterns that we find in Scripture. And to give this series some kind of uh, coherence, to keep it under control, we're focusing in on the early chapters of Genesis, Genesis 1 through 3. And we're going to draw out from those chapters the different patterns and images and uh, uh, literary devices that the Bible uses throughout. Uh, that's partly a practical necessity that we need something to keep us under control to we'll kind of uh, uh, pre present some kind of uh, constraints on what we're going to be talking about. But it's also theological, uh, theologically sound to start with Genesis 1 through 3. Uh, the whole Bible is a story of creation, fall, uh, renewal, and glorification of the creation. And that story is told in the first chapters of Genesis. All the furniture of creation is introduced in the first chapters of Genesis. And we have the heavens and the earth that are created. We have the firmament between the waters above and the waters below. We have the land and the sea, the sun, moon, and stars that are in the sky, the animals and human beings. In Genesis 2, we have the garden with its various features, with trees in the midst of the garden, with rivers that go through the garden and split out to the four corners of the earth. Uh, we have the serpent appear in Genesis 3. All of those things are going to be recurring images and themes throughout the Bible. And if we get Genesis 1 through 3 right and understand the furniture of the Bible and the structures that, the, that those chapters give us, then we can understand the rest of the Bible better.